Hello and welcome, this is Rufamonger, and in this edition of Let's Learn Dragon Ball Fighters, we're going to be talking about a fairly simple homing dash option select. And once again, if you're not familiar with the term option select, it just simply means you can do multiple things and the best option always comes out. Now before we go into it directly, I gotta say, this is one of those things where I'm kind of kicking myself for never thinking of this. Uh, I'm sure we've all had that feeling at some point or another, how come I didn't think of it? And for me, this is it. So this one comes to us from Lord Tatsunukal, and honestly, it's about as easy as easy can be. So when you homing dash, all you have to do is just hit uh, light attack right when you would hit. Uh, or it could be any attack, really. Uh, we're just using light attack as an example because we can kind of go into the auto combo from there. Uh, but yeah, just do it when you hit. And why do it when you hit? Well, uh, if it gets blocked, it doesn't come out. So basically, it's as simple as an option slug gets. Uh, so it'll come out on a hit, and if you get blocked, then it doesn't come out. So right now, the enemy is set to random guard. So it will guard randomly. I have no idea when it's going to block or when it's not going to block. And we'll just show it off a couple times here. All right, there we go. We got our hit. We got our conversion. Let's try it again. Oh, nothing happened, so it didn't come out. Oh, we got another hit, another conversion. Let's try it one more time here. Oh, another hit, another conversion. Let's try it one final time. Oh, block didn't come out. There you go. So it's literally that simple. You'll get the attack if it hits, and if it's blocked, then the input's eaten. Now, going into one more layer of this, uh, you can actually double options like this. So it'll either be a hit on an actual hit of the homing dash, or it will be a back dash if it, it gets blocked. So all we have to do here is change our input just slightly. So uh, this part here is still the same. You will hit uh, L right after you get hit or blocked and then immediately input back dash. So if you hit, you get your hit. And if not, you get a back dash. So right here, I have the dummy set up to do this exact recording. You can see their inputs there. So they block, they bounce off, they back dash right away. And if they hit, then hey, it goes right into the hit. So uh, this one's another layer, uh, you know, this will be uh, user choice on this one. Uh, the initial option select, which once again, I'm kicking myself for never thinking of, oh my god. Um, that is uh, the stronger thing. Uh, I find you kind of add a little bit of uh, manual error, player error sometimes if you add too many inputs going into uh, such a fast paced thing. But still, if you want to try out that one, that's fantastic. Uh, as you can see here, the results speak for itself because it works just fine. Uh, and yeah, that's really simple and really good so once again here just when you're gonna hit just hit light and if uh you hit hey convert into a you know, nice little combo and if not then you harmlessly bounce off no fuss no muss you don't uh input anything and you can just jump away jump back whatever you want to do from there so very simple option select but sometimes the simple stuff is the best stuff and yeah fantastic and you should really add it to your game but anyways, that's it for this video, so thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.